Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns Rire from Next Gen Tactics, and as many of you know, the sequel to Batman Arkham Asylum is coming out this September 2011, which is, of course, Batman Arkham City. And there's a huge anticipation for this game because of how well Arkham Asylum did, uh, and it's a little bit surprising. I think everyone was pleasantly surprised. You know, you never know with these new game titles when they come out, and it's really nice to see a game title that comes out and then kind of wows you, you're like, wow, that was an awesome game. So I think everyone's looking forward to this. And there, a big question was, um, you know, is it going to have multiplayer? And the reason being is that it seems a lot of these games nowadays, games that were previously single player campaigns, always single player, never had any multiplayer, are suddenly shifting over to multiplayer. It seems everyone wants a multiplayer component. Uh, and Rocksteady Studios confirmed that there will absolutely not be any multiplayer whatsoever, which is, in my opinion, is a good thing. Because you got games like that, that, you know, when they released, people loved the game, you know, it had no multiplayer, so you don't need to, to add multiplayer. The next one's, you know, highly anticipated based on the first one, and the first one had no multiplayer, so why throw it in there? Why take up space on the disc? for data to, to, to add on to a multiplayer component, because that takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of the actual space up, which will essentially take away from the experience of the single player campaign, which is really what you want. This is why it's being anticipated. So my question is, to you, do you feel that, you know, too many companies, number one, are too many companies pushing this multiplayer? Are we losing the quality of these amazing single player campaign games, such as Batman, even Uncharted, which is now, you know, Uncharted 1 was an amazing friggin' single player experience. They added, you know, like this very thin, wispy of a, of a multiplayer. It was fun, don't get me wrong, and for those of you that played it, you know, a lot of you actually that, that got into it absolutely loved it. You're always saying, hey, do more Uncharted 2 multiplayer, and we just, we simply couldn't, but, um, you know, I think it takes away from the, the experience. And, Although I'm, I'm sort of kind of excited to see Uncharted 3 again with the multiplayer, maybe to see if they can improve on the previous one, I'm a little bit disappointed also because that space that they're using to allocate for multiplayer and all of the, the programming required, required for that is taking potentially away from what they could add into the single player campaign. I love Uncharted because of the story. Like, I don't, when I play it, I don't think, oh, I'm going online and play some multiplayer. When I play that game, I'm thinking, you know what, this is going to be a kick-ass story. The visuals are great, the audio is superb, the acting is amazing. It is a game above all others. And I worry that these games, when they start thinking, oh, well, I better add some multiplayer in there to sort of give it longevity, that I'm going to start missing out on that. I mean, I don't want to see it, I don't want to, I definitely don't want to see Uncharted go that way. But for you playing uh, Batman, what, those of you that played Batman Arkham Asylum, I mean, are you willing to compromise, you know, how that game was made simply to have some sort of really thin, wispy type of multiplayer? Because that's not really what you bought the game for. That's not really why you love the game. I mean, do, or do you want it? Do you want to see, oh, I would love to see them do a multiplayer component. I don't know. Leave your comments. I'm very curious. Obviously, you know my uh, feelings on it. I. I think there's certain games that should be multiplayer and certain games you just leave them alone and make it an amazing cinematic experience. Anyway, that's it. I'm Guns for Hire. Those are my opinions and I'm curious about yours. Leave your comments below. Peace. Thanks for watching. Whether it's positive or negative, please comment and rate the video. Help us improve. Hey guys, we're on Netflix. Okay, well we're not on Netflix, but we are officially sponsored by them now. Thousands of movies and TV shows available every day at the click of a button. For a free one-month trial membership, simply click on the link in the description, courtesy of NextGen Tactics. Yeah, you're welcome.